I'm Jake Surd. Across from me is Ken Kirby. To the right of me, Stacy Osterber. Here we are last Sunday of the month back here on 94.9 K-Rock, loud and local. we got to kick this off by talking about the, the huge event, the big event in our area, Phases of the Moon Fest. And Stacy and I headed out there. Uh, Ken, you were out there for one of the days. It was awesome. We did coverage. We did photos. Great time. Uh, what would you guys take from the event? First of all, shout out to Fuzzy's Bar for all the coverage, and you two did a great job. I mean, great social media stuff. What do you think, Stace? How, what was your takeaway on the first run at it? Um, I had a lot of fun. I like by the time me and Sir got there, it was nice to see all the bugs were kind of worked out. Everybody was getting in really easily, and uh, we had a good time while we were there. It was well, a lot of fun. And that was unfortunately the buzz at the beginning was getting everyone in, and. Uh, of course, they got a lot of rain out there, which flooded out the road. They planned on doing 10 lanes in, but they ended up having to do two lanes in. But uh, that was the first day, and people did experience some long waits. But the Phase of the Moon promoters and organizers, they realize that now that uh, those that did pay early entry. So go to their website if you're one of those early entry people, because I believe they're offering you some sort of refund. But after that first day, uh, it was great. Smooth sailing in there awesome food and uh i'm not a big artsy guy you know paintings and all this stuff but it was really really neat uh stace and i stopped and looked at a lot of that stuff and it was cool and great to see right here in danville because once you were in the event and uh he and i were talking about this it's like this is going on in danville right now look mm-hmm. around you there's like twelve thousand people you know it was and, weird and by the way when you say that i don't believe for a second i've seen your dogs playing poker collection in your garage <laughs> so let's say you're but I went out actually with Bill Pickett to get our media credentials on Friday, mm-hmm. and I and we rolled up there. There was traffic both directions, north and south, uh, on Henning Road, about a mile each side. But when we got out there and we rolled through the gate, we had gone out Thursday to get our media credentials. Where it was to pick them up on Thursday, the tent wasn't there, and then you had to go to the visitor's office to get it, and there were trenches and ruts, and I just looked at Bill and went, oh, this isn't going to be good. I'm like you. I've been to a lot of festivals. I will say this for Face of the Moon. It was beyond my expectations for a festival in Danville, Illinois. When you went there, it was like going to Lollapalooza. It was like going uh, to any of the uh, you know the fests that you go to as far as metal. It was done well. Just unfortunate the rain. That's the only negative that happened. Other than that, I think it was a home run. You guys did a great job. Oh, we ran into a ton of K Rock listeners. A lot of fans. Uh, uh, John Jansky was out there. Yep. Um, we had some local musicians that played there. James Jones Trio played. So. It was really neat, and a shout-out to all the volunteers that made that possible as well. So look forward to it returning. But uh, like I said, we're here on Loud and Local. We've got upcoming concerts we're going to talk about. We're going to talk rock and metal news. Going to air a bunch of bands that are going to be playing the upcoming Salute to the Fallen Fest, and let's kick it right off with one of those bands. This is Eric Cobra. The song is called To the Keep. Jake Sir back here on Loud and Local. And you just heard Cursed by Failure. The track was called He Ain't Through With Me Yet, and before that was Uncertainties. Both of those bands are going to be out at Salute to the Fallen. Cursed by Failure, those guys are from Charleston. Uh, really happy to have those. They've played uh, Salute to the Fallen Fest uh, in the past. And Uncertainties, they're from uh, the Champaign area. And uh, the band consists of Blake Ingram, Justin Bars, Dustin Sweet Cheeks Murphy, Jake Welsh, Little John Pierce with the Gimpy Leg, and Jared Jesse. So... Happy to uh, have those guys on, and we didn't actually play the song that Dustin sent us. Uh, we had some trouble opening it up, so we had to play one of their tracks from last year. And Ken, you kind of explained why this track wasn't opening up on the computer, because the person who sent it, Dustin Murphy, uh, his file was corrupted, and there's only one thing that really describes on how a file gets corrupted on computers. Is that right? Well, I, you were talking about somebody on a casting couch. And backroom I think casting couch. Backroom casting couch could have been. The deviants that uh, failed to open that track. I will say one thing. You can send your tracks in mono. The studio does play mono tracks, but we recommend the stereo function. Long story short, the reason Dustin's track was corrupted and we couldn't open it is because he looks at a lot of porn on his computer. So I'm just going to throw that out there. All right, we've got some upcoming shows, and let's jump right into them. Stacy, you kick it off. On Friday, October 3rd, Ricky Rockstar and My Sweet Revenge will be in Newport, Indiana at Terry's Bar. On Friday, October 31st, Torn Labels will be back at the Georgetown American Legion for a Halloween show, costumes, rock and roll, and beer, the holy trifecta. That's right. On Saturday, October 11th, the 2014 Salute to the Fallen Fest 
as we talked about, it returns to Sarge's Tap here in Danville. Ten bands for ten bucks, including two national acts. Bands performing Cursed by Failure, Uncertainties, Eclipse, Eric Cobra, Degrade the Signal, and I don't want to mess up their name twice in one show. It's Kaisis. Uh, C-A-E-S-U-S, is that right? Yes. Sorry, guys, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, I know it. By uh, the way, rule in rock and roll, never name your band something people can't pronounce. It's just a rule. I'm just saying. War Nerve's going to be there against a burning sky and both National Act seasons after and flaw. Get your tickets now at Chart Records in Danville for 10 bucks. Don't wait to pay $15 at the door. Um, and another show that's not here on our list I just got the information from, October 25th at Pammy's in Tilton. Ricky Rockstar is going to be there. Nico Davis is going to be performing Eclipse, Tongue and Groove, Boom Slang, and more. On Saturday, November 1st, the Watsika Theater will host Puddle of Mud with special guests to grade the signal. That show just went on sale, and it's selling fast. Your tickets can be purchased uh, by visiting the Watsika Theater website. Static X frontman Wayne Static, minus my high school buddy Ken J, which actually complete the band, is still going to go on tour with Power Man 5000 and American Head Charges as the supporting X. They'll be at Mojo's in Joliet November the 11th. On Saturday, November 22nd, Jackal returns to the Watsika Theater. Tickets are on sale now at the Watsika Theater website. More rock and more loud and local. It's the last Sunday of the month. We'll talk more about Salute to the Fallen Fest. It's all part of K-Rocktober, as well as we're going to unveil something special. It's going to happen in K-Rocktober. It's all in the way. Stay close. Loud and local continues next. Local before that against the Burning Sky. What's the big headliner it's going to be besides Flaw Stace on the uh, uh, Salute to the Fallen Fest? We're going to have a uh, Seasons After there. Yeah, that was great stuff. Yep. One thing I can tell you about, Sir, and in fairness to you too, man, how many bands have you been in? We really have never talked about your local career. What I mean, who have you been in uh, that people do know? Slow Intentional Damage, correct? Uh, that one before that was... Um uh, what was the band before that? Oh, Flight Risk. And then uh, before that was uh, Rival. You were just trying to block Sir now because I know it was a band year and it was Sir. Yeah, no, no. I, I stopped and think for a minute. Uh, but uh, those were the two bands that I played out that like actually gigged. And then I was in a lot of nothing bands that didn't matter before that. So. How close did Slow Intentional get to actually hitting the show? Uh, what do you mean? Like going big? Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, that's tough to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There was a lot of factors holding that back. Um, <laughs> Got it. Coming up, yeah. we're going to do rock and metal news. Jake's back in. And K-Rock TV, you just heard it first, going to debut k rock October 1st. Be on the lookout. We'll get more details on the Rock Nation. More next. It's time for some rock and metal news. I'll kick it off. Slash's third solo album, World on Fire, can now be streamed in its entirety. The disc is a feature, the second to feature uh, his regular backing band, Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, and it follows up their 2012 album, Apocalyptic Love. In, in a recent interview, Brett Michaels and Ricky Rocket of Poison have both hinted at a new possible 2015 tour by the band. It would be their first in three years. Time to bust that a little awkward, Matt. That's right. Metallica bassist Robert Trulio says the band will get together this month to continue work on their 10th album, the follow-up to 2008's Death Magnetic. Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor believes that the band has been able to successfully use the internet to build anticipation for its long-awaited fifth studio album, Point Five: The Gray Chapter, calling the process a lost art, which not enough other artists are taking advantage of. The first official signal from The Gray Chapter, called The Devil and I, just entered the top twenty at the Rock Radio. Yep. Yeah, it's the and it's the band's first one without the bassist Paul Gray. Yep. Last but not least, I would say this is actually the most important news that uh, we have to give as far as rock and metal goes. Chimera have officially called it quits after fifteen years. Shadows Falls also announced a farewell tour. We talked about that last month. And uh, you're hearing of many other national acts, like God forbid, that have, have had to call it quits. So we as fans of rock and metal, we have the opportunity to prevent our favorite bands from not having to retire. So with that said, go to shows, support these bands, buy their music. And uh, I've emphasized buy their music, not steal it off the Internet. Uh, buy their merch at shows, and just do your part in keeping rock and metal alive. A lot of these uh, bands struggle to keep their head above water as far as touring goes because there's definitely a lot less venues, less rock radio stations, and uh, overall just less money uh, to go around. So um, 
you know, record labels are all but extinct. So take into consideration all the, their travel costs, food costs, lodging, all that, what it takes to be on the road. Um, it's a do-it-yourself day and age for sure. And recently the band U2, they announced that their album would be free to half a billion iTunes users. Um, so far, 33 million people download that. So to that, I say personally, shame on U2 for doing that. Because I think they're basically telling their their the music consumer that music should be free and available without value, and you know that's easy for those guys who are multi billionaires, and uh, it, it's unfortunate that they did that. I didn't I didn't like they did that at all. Ninety nine percent of touring bands, you know, they just scrape by to even fund a record and then tour. So, what's your take on it, Stacey? Well, I I was definitely one of those guys that that downloaded a lot of music. I've kind of gotten away from that. Um, I use Google Play or Google Music. Mm -hmm. It's like eight dollars a month. And that library is just huge. Well, I the mean, bands are still getting a portion of that, yeah. so you're not stealing the music per se. Yeah, exactly. So I like it. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's get right back into uh, loud and local, Ken. All right, let's do degrade the signal. What do you think? Sounds good. <laughs> 